Hey everybody, this morning I had a technical interview for uh, React Native and I just wanted to give you a little recap of how the interview went and uh, maybe if, if you all are going to go on an interview that deals with React Native or something similar, uh, maybe it'll help you uh, to get some ideas for what to expect and how to prepare. Uh, so just some background on me, I have uh, developed React Native uh, professionally for several different companies uh, for about three three years, I think, possibly a little more than three, but for sure, uh, when I like three years completely 100% using React Native. Um, but for the last year, I've been using just React professionally, and I've only been using React Native on some side projects. Uh, so my skills are a little rusty, right? Um, I, I would say I still remember and understand a lot of the concept, concepts, but in terms of remembering all the syntax exactly, uh, I, I'm not that fresh with it. So I was a little bit nervous going into this interview. I had hoped that I would have time to prepare, and in fact, I even postponed my interview uh, a week from its original date, so I have more time to prepare. Uh, unfortunately, because of the fact that I was doing other interviews at the time, and uh, I had some family issues come up, uh, unexpectedly, um, it kind of sucked away all the time that I would have had uh, to prepare. So what I did instead is I listened to some React Native podcasts just to get my mind thinking uh, in React Native mode again. Uh, so that that helped because I could still listen to the podcast while I, you know, took care of other things that I needed to do. Um, so now the interview itself. Um, it was about an hour long. The interview took place in like an online code uh, editor. I think it's a rep, rep it is the website. Um, so I didn't have to have anything installed on my computer. Uh, we started out with just some questions and then went into actual code snippets. So I was given a series of code snippets of React Native code. Uh, also some um, uh, Objective-C code as well. Uh, because with React Native, sometimes you have to mess around with Objective-C uh, or potentially Java or Kotlin, but not always, but occasionally that happens. Um, overall, I, I actually knew and remembered a lot more than I thought I would. I didn't feel very confident going into this interview at all, uh, but I did better than I expected. Not as good as I could have, right? If I would have done the same interview a year ago, uh, I, I probably would have flown through it easily. Uh, now it was a bit difficult, uh, but I'm going to just give you some of the questions that I had uh, just just to, so that you know what to expect. Not to say that these would be on any other interview, uh, but you never know. Uh, I know every time I do an interview video, everybody wants to know exactly the questions, so I'm going to give you some of the questions exactly. Uh, so some of the ones that I remember the most are probably the ones I got wrong. Uh, so I'm going to go over those. One of them uh, was just some basic JavaScript that I was embarrassed that I didn't know. Uh, and it, it had to do with um, declaring like a class and then assigning properties to that class. And I had to say, okay, what's wrong with this code? Why won't this code work? And it didn't have a constructor function. And that was, I believe, the first question. And I blanked totally. And I said, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, so I started off <laughs> really badly and <laughs> just having no, usually I have some clue, but for some reason my mind was just not grasping it. Um, in React land, at least for the last few years, everything's been functional programming. So I, I haven't touched a class in a long time. After that, I had some questions that I, I really knew, like I knew confidently. Um, some of the uh, the other some questions that kind of got me was you know describe the difference between declarative and imperative programming, and those are words that I've definitely heard before, but I just could not remember the difference. And basically, you know, the answer is you know uh, declarative is would be more in line with functional programming, right? You're always you know you're writing functions, you're passing functions to functions, returning values. That's what uh, modern day React and React Native is is written in. Um, imperative uh, would be more like class-based programming where you know, you're giving instructions uh, to the computer. It was described to me as um, the declarative is more like uh, human readable code and imperative is more like 
closer to giving instructions that a machine understands. Okay, that's probably an oversimplification, but um, that that's it. So that was one that really got me. Uh, there were some other questions, uh, some little coding problems. So uh, I was given a form that had an input for an email and a submit button. And this was in, in React. And I needed to add a password button and it only would let you submit if you had the password was at least eight characters long. Okay, so the solution then was uh, to use state and React, so declare uh, a state variable for password, and then put in an input for the password, given the type password, so you get that little, um, the little dots instead of the actual password when you type it in, and then have an on change uh, handler on that input. All right, and then when you do the on change, you, you use an arrow function, you pass the value to set password, which updates your state. Um, and you also need to make sure you can't submit without the eight characters long. So on the submit input itself, you can add a property called disabled. And disabled can take a Boolean value. So you can say disabled, and then you can't put an if statement in there in React code. You have to use a ternary. So you could say, uh, disabled equals um, uh, password, uh, let's say, greater than seven, right? Um, no, I should say maybe, I might have this backwards, but essentially you, you want it, if, if it's true, so I guess it would be you want password less than, if password is less than uh, seven, I guess, or less than eight, then it would read to true, which means your input is disabled. Uh, otherwise, you have enough characters, it is false, meaning your uh, submit button is enabled. Okay, so that was one of the more, one of the ones that required more, more coding. Okay, there was another one talking about objects, right? So you declare um, basically a nested object, uh, and then you declare a new object, which is just equals the, the, the original object. Okay. And then you try to set the properties of that object, right? Well, what ends up happening is uh, you try to set a property for the old object, and then you try to set a property for the new object, and you realize that it has overwritten the original object as well, right? And that's because of the way objects are referenced. Um, you need to do some special stuff to make sure that it uh, applies correctly. Okay. Uh, I was given a bit of, um, I believe it was objective C code, and just had to say like, okay, what is this code doing? Okay, one of them was kind of iterating over a list and um, checking for which parts of the list should be selected. And the other one was exporting a, um, a function that could be used in React. So you could call the function in JavaScript and then it referenced a function in Objective-C that would sh show or hide a, um, like a network status indicator. Okay, so whether you're online or offline. Okay, those were some of the ones that really like stood out and I can remember. I mean, there were enough questions to fill up an hour of time uh, for the interview. Uh, this interview stood out though to me as uh, being a really positive one uh, because the interviewer, uh, when I got a question wrong, the interviewer was really cool about it, did not talk down to me or make me feel bad for getting it wrong. Um, they would say, you know, like, hey, this is a tricky one, like no big deal, here's the answer. Right, so I got immediate feedback, and it would say I, I, w I would then understand. And a lot of times, you know, if I tried to take a guess at the answer, a lot of times I was really close. And sometimes I was like almost there. I was like ninety percent there to the correct answer. And the interviewer, instead of just saying you're wrong or telling me the answer, would just push me in the right direction just a little bit, maybe just just a little hint. Okay, or if I'd given a correct answer, but there was a better way of putting it, the interviewer would also say, hey, you could also say this, or you could also do this. So like my answer, while correct, wasn't as clear uh, or as succinct as it could have been. Uh, so I really appreciated that. Uh, you know, it kind of took a lot of the pressure off me. I was already feeling nervous because I knew I was out of practice uh, for React Native. Uh, so I, I appreciated that, uh, that little, you know, kind of extra, extra touch. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep that in mind when I interview people. Um, and if anybody does interviews out there, you know, try to keep that style in mind of, of being positive. Um, 
you know, providing good feedback, you know, good positive feedback, even when uh, someone doesn't get the question right, and not being so quick uh, to give the answer when somebody's struggling a little bit, um, of j just kind of giving a little nudge in the right direction, you know, assuming that they are on the right track and know it, uh, and really, you know, felt like that this guy was really trying to understand what I was saying, even if I was saying it in the words that maybe didn't line up exactly with the right answer or the way he would describe it. He was trying to, you know, get an idea. So sometimes he would repeat back to me what I had said, maybe in a little bit different words to verify that, like, is this what you meant? And a lot of times like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Or maybe it was like, no, actually, I mean this. Uh, so anyway, overall, good experience. Uh, I will get back a report of how I did on the interview. Uh, so it's possible I, I just bombed it and I, I'm falsely being positive. Or maybe I did better than I thought. I don't know. So uh, if I get the feedback back and I think it's worthwhile to share with you all, then I will definitely do that. And um, yeah, hopefully something good job-wise comes out of this. But no matter what, I, I really enjoyed this experience. It gave me a great example of how to interview people. Uh, and it also, I, I learned some stuff. Uh, so I remembered some stuff that I had learned before and, and forgotten. And then I learned some totally new things as well. Uh, so. I say this, if you're nervous about an interview, um, you know, I can't say anything to make you less nervous, but I will say uh, maybe think about the possibility that the interview could go way better than, than you expect. You know, that's a real possibility. It does happen. It happened to me this morning. Uh, so if you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, I don't know. I, if you really want to press me, I might be able to remember some of the other questions that I did. Uh, right now, that's about all I can remember. Uh, but I appreciate you watching here uh, till the end. Uh, have a great day.